What up, what up, good morning, man. Monday morning. TGIM, like ET say. Got this 530. Put my 530 never on time anyway. Just been talking about how traffic is bad or something. At <laughs> 530 in the morning. But listen, man, it's really a blessing. Like everything we got right now, it's a blessing. A lot of times it looks like it's not even enough hours in a day to get everything accomplished. But actually, it is. We got 24. The key. Just get up a little bit earlier. Depending on your level of grind and what you gotta do though. Some people might need to get up a lot earlier. Uh, for me, four o'clock-ish, 4.30. It's the perfect prescription. On days like this, when I got a 5.30, I get to knock it out. I don't think I have a six. So I get my workout in. I shoot sometimes. I just get it in at 5 30. Then the rest of the day, I can dedicate to you, beautiful people. And get my job done. The girl on time. Look, her eyes not even open yet. <laughs> oh, oh, the gym not that way. Don't run into the. <laughs> yeah, that was the problem. Right, you had lost your car, right? That was the problem. You had lost your car, but today you got it. Are you done? You didn't lose your car today, right? Are you done? <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> not today. I you did not misplace your car today. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's too early. Yeah. yeah. Still working on the system. Uh, right now, still have been having to go back and forth to restock uh, stuff in the gym. Toilet paper, water, cleaning supplies. I'm trying to figure out the system right now, but I stay so busy that I don't have I feel like sometimes I don't have time to just sit down and think and put the system together because I'm so busy just doing, doing, doing. Like right now, I keep cutting the light on and off instead of just sitting still and figuring out the timer. But, like most things in my life, Running the gym didn't come with a manual for me. So I'm learning as I go. You got flow. Flow one of the ring lady kids. Not a kid anymore anyway. Good morning, I'll be back. So ring leaders, true ring leaders. Is one of the non-profits. What up, Coco? I'll be back. I'll be back. Go and get water and stuff. Anything? Again, you ain't been in there. But if you see something, I'll let me. All right. Good morning. So, yeah, I got a nonprofit called True Ringleaders. Uh, the purpose of my nonprofit, the purpose of the nonprofit, as I seen it, was to help, like, at risk youth. Uh, but like I was a stupid kid, one of those stupid kids that needed help and guidance. So I'm trying to provide what I know I needed, uh, but I'm not trying to do it my way. For me, true ring leaders, it's not uh, just a passion or something that I like to do. I feel like I'm purposed to do it. The habit you let it.
Now you're down on the ground screaming medic. The only thing that comes is the post-traumatic I feel like it's a part of my God-given purpose. Therefore, I use a lot of boxing in the ringleaders program. But boxing is only my tool. The guidelines, principles, uh, and lessons are all based on the life transforming gospel of Jesus Christ. And I stand on that. So a very negative part about being uh, busy is that busy don't always mean productive. So oftentimes I find myself getting busy, but I'm not always productive. Especially when it comes to my nutrition. If I don't meal prep or plan accordingly, which the plan always change, I find myself just grabbing some trash. Uh, I try to get the best trash available, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I can do a lot better on my eating. And when I do, when I do, y'all see the fighter power and all that stuff? We got hoodies now. We're gonna have tanks. We're gonna have, we're gonna be walking around wearing halter tops. <laughs> like the football players do. No, we getting this thing together though. Uh, right now, I try to eat. Okay, because my focus is one of my fighters, uh, my business. You know, I'm a dad, so I gotta maintain a good fatherly relationship with the twins. There's uh, a lot going in this. Bertini Williams. Alright, let's just go. All right, so, but, but seriously, but seriously. Huh? All right, don't say it. We're going to learn a lot in this class now. All right, so, just went and got some. Needed some more paperwork done. I'm trying to get my business together. Uh, one thing that I'm learning about the key to business is that you must have a system. Once upon a time when I was just training uh, individuals without brick and mortar business, the system was a lot simpler. Write up my workouts, tailor them to my clients, do them. All right. But now I have other coaches. Uh, I have a lot more clients. So not only do I create the workouts for the clients. I gotta do scheduling for the coaches. Uh, maintain all kind of stuff when it comes to the building. Worry about marketing. Uh, just a ton of stuff. Like So today I'm doing, I had to go get some more of the coaches contracts. Print it up this stuff together a lot of people been reaching out to me lately though asking about how to create this fitness empire how to level up and it's really only one answer uh, and that's hard work uh, I know that's so vague so I want, want to give you a lot more than that uh, but hard work is definitely the key nothing is going to be easy don't expect easy Easy won't happen for you. Uh, time, patience, and consistency. Just like when we tell all these clients, consi consistency, consistency. Uh, and it's a lot of consistency uh, that you must have to grow. One thing that I try to tell the, the people right under me right now, like, even though they trained in that Mark Owens boxing. Mark Owens once trained at LJ Performance, once trained at 24 Hour Fitness, once trained at World Gym, you know, multiple places. Uh, but even though I trained at different places, I didn't 
go into the mindset, go go into that establishment in the mindset of like, I could be late or I could show up whenever I want. I could be casual about it because at the end of the day, even when I was at LJ, yes, it's his name on the building, but when someone comes from my service, I represent me. I have to represent me properly and show the professionalism. Um, if you come into the, if you're doing the class and you're showing up 15 minutes late, now even though my name on the building, or his name was on the building at that time, I will be showing that I'm not a good business person. I'm not a good person to work with. Uh, you come to LJ Performance to work up with Mark. Mark gonna be there before you waiting on you. You're not gonna have to show up and ask Jake and John and Leo, like, hey, where Mark, y'all heard about Mark, y'all seen Mark, is he coming today? Nah, nah, cause at the end of the day, you gotta build your brand, your brand, uh, and play your position. I played my position. I didn't try to step on no toes. Uh, maintain my professionalism and was respectful as possible. I'm not saying be a pushover, but I'm definitely saying play your position. So, to, for the people that's reaching out, asking me how to level up, that's the first thing I would say, like learn to be a great follower first before you try to become this great leader. Because uh, following is just a part of the process. It's a part of you paying your dues, you putting in your work. When I say following them, it's not, not talking about doing what somebody else tell you to do. I'm talking about the small steps. The small steps before the big steps. Everybody want to be the boss. Everybody, everybody want to own this and own that. But, hey, listen, there's a lot come with this. And if you don't work on the small step first, when this do come your way, you won't be ready for this. And you'll crash and burn. And that's what you don't want. Maintaining my workouts. Uh, Cause I don't just work out like I train, like my name on the building. I gotta grind. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, so one thing that helped, cause honestly, I, I, I die out during the day. Well, I, I was having a problem with dying out, looking for the problem, like looking for energy. Uh, when I came across. Burn pills, man. These fight brand burn pills. Uh, to know the story behind the fight brand burn pills, fight brand is my brand. Uh, and I was actually just looking for something great, like something to help me out. Uh, I was dead tired all the time uh, and looking for another way to burn, the, help burn a little extra fat. So I tried a bunch of things out there. <laughs> tried a bunch of uh, energy drinks and fat burners and all kind of stuff. Until I learned about, you know, you can get your own products made. So, reach out to this company. They required you, required you like to get a chemist and Williams. Oh, gotta excuse my room right now, it's a mess. I'm in the process of moving. I got stuff everywhere, clothes being moved, everything. But if you made it to this part of the video, this is the end of the video, this is a new style of vlogging I'm trying. Uh, well, first let me start here. Another long late night last night. Uh, I stayed, maybe got four hours of sleep. And I was telling you earlier about the burn pills, how uh, that product give me so much energy now, through dying out throughout the day. Another thing, slim and sleep. Slim and sleep helps you burn some calories overnight and whatnot. But most of all, I probably got three, four hours of sleep last night. Feel like I got twelve. Uh, so definitely had to implement this. Remember, fight brand, uh, slim and sleep. Like if you have trouble problem. If you have problems sleeping like I do, uh, cause your mind just going racing or whatever, but just working, up, working all night. Like you have to incorporate 
uh, that slim and sleek into your routine. But again, what, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to share my journey with you. Uh, business, boxing, strength and conditioning, uh, my nonprofit, everything. Just show you the game. I come from a trainer, like literally, at the bottom. Uh, grinding, grinding, grinding. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of hard work. Now I'm, uh, I have my nonprofit up and running. Uh, Y'all see the gym, the mob, up and running. We got the who's who of Houston in there. I'm also going to show you my fitness journey as well. So right now, mm, 165. Uh, you still see some love having those. Premium weight for me, 155 or so. I can stay ready for a fight if need be. But I look good and feel good and move good as well, too. I'm not one of those people that just focus on the scale. Uh, I like to look in the mirror. As I tell my people, look in the mirror. Let the mirror be your judge unless you have some type of competition or whatever. But if you just MOB, if you just a lifestyle client, let the mirror be your judge. Don't put all that extra pressure on yourself. Again, right now I need to get down and I will be, like I told you, eating been a little trash lately. Uh, but we finna snap right back, get it together. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep up with me. Like, it's gonna be a lot more. I'm gonna dig a whole lot deeper into my background, uh, my future endeavors, because we have a lot of things coming. And I hope you just grow with me uh, and ride with me. Like, it's my style. I'll